Hi there, it's Cynthia from your university and I thought you might like to crochet a granny square with me. I have um I have a special way of doing it. Everybody has a special way of crocheting a granny square, but I kind of like my way. So I thought I would show you how I do it. Uh, come along with me. You'll need a crochet hook, some yarn, a locking stitch marker, and some scissors. Here we go. All right, materials. I have some yarn. I have a four millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a clover crochet hook with a nice ergonomic handle. I've got a pair of scissors for cutting my yarn. And I have a couple of stitch markers here that I'll use as we go along. I'm going to begin with a um, working into just a very light circle. Uh, this enables you to tighten up the center of your granny square to whatever um, tightness you'd like. So begin with the tail end, wrap it around two fingers, and then with your crochet hook, go into that circle that's on your finger, grab the tail end of the yarn and pull it up into the circle. This is like making a slip knot, but you wanna keep the circle open because uh, we're gonna work into it. So uh, with your crochet hook, you're now going to chain two stitches. We want to begin with the chain two. So you can see that I'm kind of holding my circle open here and I can always tighten up that first loop. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm going to put my crochet hook under the yarn, draw it through once, and then under the yarn and draw it through the loop on my hook a second time. So I've got two chains in uh, just coming out of the circle that's on my finger and the tail of my circle is still tucked inside that circle. Now I'm going to work two double crochets. So I take my, um, my crochet hook and I go under the yarn, so under away from me, and then taking my hook, I'm gonna dip down inside the circle. Again, come up and grab the yarn that's uh, in my left hand and pull it back up inside the circle. So I now have three loops on my crochet hook. I'm going to yarn over and draw through two of those loops and then yarn over and draw through two of those loops. All right, let's do that again. It gets easier as you go. So again, I just wanna say that I've got my circle nice and open. Uh, my tail is still down inside the middle of the circle and I've made a uh, chain two and one double crochet. I'm going to make another double crochet here. So my hook goes under the yarn, rotate the hook towards my thumb here, go into the circle, grab the yarn from underneath the circle or uh, behind the circle, bring it back up into the circle so that I have three loops on my hook. Then I'm going to yarn over, rotate the hook towards my thumb, draw through two, yarn over on my hook, draw, twist the hook towards my thumb and draw through two again. I now have three double crochets on my hook, or sorry, in my uh, circle. Now that you've got three double crochets, we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're gonna make three more double crochets inside the circle. So hook goes under the yarn, hook goes into the circle, hook goes under the yarn, pull it forward and back up through the circle. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to put your hook under the yarn and draw it through two of those loops and then yarn over and draw through two loops. Let's do that again. Double crochet, yarn over into the circle, grab the yarn, pull it up through the circle, yarn over and pull through two of the loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two of the loops. Another double crochet. When you have uh, three double crochets, you're going to chain two, just to put a spacer between uh, each of the clusters. We're gonna end up with four clusters of three double crochets each. That first chain two counts as your first double crochet. And then let's do three more double crochets.
then chain two. So we've got one set of double crochets, two sets of double crochets, three sets of double crochets, and we chain two in between each of those initial clusters. And I've got another chain two here. I'm going to do one more set of double crochets. Now, I'm going to join this uh, together, but I'm going to do it with a half double crochet, which is what's a little different about my method. And before I do that, I'm going to pull on my um, pull on my tail a little bit here just to tighten up my inside circle. So now you can kind of see that I've got um, this first cluster, chain two, double crochet, double crochet, then chain two between them double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, chain two, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And now I'm going to join up my circle together by putting a half double crochet in the top of the chain two. And you might be asking yourself, where is that top of the chain two? And so uh, it's, it's here, I'll show you. Um, if you look at this double crochet right here, on top of it is a little V. And over here on top of it is a little V. So the top of my chain two is right here. It's sort of over in the corner a little bit. But I'm going to put a half double crochet right in the top of that chain two. So to do a half double crochet, you yarn over like a double crochet, insert your hook into the top of the chain two that you started with. And then yarn over and pull it through the top of that chain two so that you have three loops on your hook. And the only difference here is that instead of drawing through two and then through two, we're going to yarn over and draw through everything on the uh, hook. So this creates a nice sturdy little um, join. And you might say, well, it doesn't look so pretty, Cynthia. But you know it's going to be hidden underneath anyway. So not, not to worry. Let's do another round. Um, this time I'm going to change colors. And there is, um, when you change colors, what you should do is draw the new color through the very last stitch. So I'm going to pull this loop out like this. I'm gonna do this last part again. So for the half double crochet, I go under the yarn to yarn over. I put it through the top of the chain two. And instead of drawing through the blue, let me think now, I can draw through the blue, that's all right. The very last maneuver is to draw through these three loops on my hook. So I'm gonna draw my blue, pick up my green, and I'm gonna draw it through the three loops on my hook. And that's how you start a new color in crochet. I'm gonna take the old color, and the tail end of the new color, and I'm just gonna hold them off to the left here so that I can bury them as I go. And here I'm going to start just like we did before with chain two. That counts as the first double crochet and oh, we're gonna put it here in the corner. So I'm making a cluster, right? So I've got one chain two that counts as one double crochet. So I'm gonna put two more double crochets here in the corner. All right, now in granny squares, typically what happens, and you might notice that I've um, crocheted over top of that green yarn that was there, and I'm gonna hold the blue yarn along with it and bury that as we go. In uh, granny squares, we're building a square that uh, has corners and not corners. So we only chain one, between double crochet clusters that are not in the corner. So after you've done this first, uh, those first three double crochets, just chain one, and we're gonna work three double crochets over here in this corner. So I chained one, now I'm gonna yarn over, and I'm gonna dip down into this second corner here, and I'm gonna pull another yarn over up, and I'm going to finish my double crochet by 
pulling through two loops and then pulling through two loops. And I've left my yarn uh, tail just um, hanging out kind of on top of that the chain so I, I don't, um, don't have to weave them in afterwards. Okay, I've done one double crochet in the second corner. Now I need two more because our double crochet clusters are always made up of three double crochets. And then this is going to be a corner. So in all the corners, we're going to put uh, three double crochets. Then we're going to chain two. And we'll put three more double crochets in the same corner. And that's how you turn the corner. So three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And I'm still burying my tails underneath my new um, my new round. Okay, I'm in between corners, so I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to work three double crochets in this corner here. Oops, I'm going to back up and carry my yarn along with me because the longer I carry it, the more secure those ends are. One, two, three. And this is also going to be a corner. Can you see that I'm turning the corner to go this way? So I'm going to chain two and work three more double crochets in the same corner space. So another way of looking at this is that each corner has six double crochets. Three double crochets, chain two to make the hole for the corner, and then three more double crochets. And in between, now it's starting to look a little wonky, so I'm going to give this tail a pull again just to tighten things up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I've got one more corner to fill in. But in getting to the corner, uh, this space right here between these three double crochets in the next set is not a corner. So I'm going to chain one in between. And now I'm going to work three double crochets. Oops, I'm going to grab my yarn tails here again. Double crochet. So one, two, me. And then because this is a corner, I'm going to chain two and work three more double crochets in this corner. Now I think I've buried that tail enough, so I'm going to trim off the two tails that I've been carrying around with me. And I'm almost done my second round. I have to finish <clears throat> this first corner where I started. Uh, I've only got one set of three double crochets here, so I have to finish it off. So not a corner here, I'm going to chain one, and I'm gonna work three more double crochets right over here to finish off the pattern. Okay, I'm almost done this round, but I'm uh, anticipating that I'm going to change colors again, because that's one of the fun things about granny squares is that you can use up little bits of yarn and make them quite colorful. So I've done round one, which has four um, double crochet clusters. I've done round two, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochet clusters. And I'm about to join it up here in the corner with, you probably guessed it, a half double crochet. So again, I'm going to work into the top of that chain two. So here's my chain one, there's my chain two. So that's where I'm going to work into. Or you can count back from the top of your double crochets. There's the top of the third double crochet, the top of the second one. So this right here must be the top of the chain two space. So I'll yarn over. Ease my hook under that, the top two bars, 
or the V, uh, the V looking section at the top of the chain two. And I'm going to draw yarn over and draw through one strand. And here's where I'm going to change colors again. So when I draw through, I'm going to draw through with the dark green. I'm just looping it, making a loop in it, and I'm pulling it through with the crochet hook like that. And then I can adjust the tail, make it not quite so long afterwards. So the tail is attached to the ball that goes in my left hand. And the other two tails, they're going to just float along the top of the work here. So again, I'm in the corner. I'm going to build the one half of this corner, work all the way around and finish off by working the other half of this corner. So I begin with chain two, and then I work two double crochets in the top of the corner. Keeping those tails just off to the left will help me to bury them as I go along. Now my next, um, my next chain three, sorry, my next three double crochets are gonna go in this space here. This is not a corner. So there's a corner, there's a corner, there's a corner. This is not a corner. So in between here and here, I'm just going to chain one and then work three double crochets in the middle space. or we could call it the center space or the flat space, but often I just end up saying it's not a corner. And uh, I'm going to work into the corner, but before I get there, I'm going to chain one because this chain one is not in the corner. And now I'm going to work three double crochets for the first half of the corner. And then I'll chain two because this is a corner. One, two, and I'll work three more double crochets in the same space. So the corner gets three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And any place where you're just doing three double crochets, you will chain one before and chain one afterwards. So we're about to do a um, three double crochets here. So I'm going to chain one to separate these clusters from each other. And I'll work three double crochets in the center space. I'm still holding my yarn tails off to the left and burying them. And I usually do that until I run out of one of the yarns and then I'll trim them off. So I'm gonna go a little bit further with that. Um, I'm not at a corner, so I'm gonna chain one. And now I'm working the the second corner. So I'll begin with three double crochets. And then chain two, because you got it, this is a corner. And then work three more double crochets. I'm going to pause here for a second and just trim the tails of the yarn that I was burying as I went along. And then I'm going to work three double crochets in the middle of this uh, third side. So chain one and three double crochets. And then chain one and I'm going to work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets into the second last corner. So there's three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Here's a center space, so chain one, Work three double crochets into the center space.
And then to end, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work my last three double crochets into this corner here, the first and last corner in the sense. So I work three double crochets here. And then for the very last corner, you could chain two and attach it up here. But what I like to do is my half double crochet. And it just puts me in the right spot. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to yarn over, stick my hook up under the top of the chain two space. This is this part where you just have to be patient, kind of wiggle your hook in there. Try to get both bars at the top of the chain two space. Yarn over and draw through. And if you were going to change colors, this is the point at which your last pull through uh, of any stitch is where you would change colors. So you can put your hook down here and decide if you want to change colors. Um, I'm going to secure, I'm going to pull this uh, first tail as tight as I want it to be. And then uh, just to show you, what to do with that tail. Let me do this final pull through here. Let's let's pretend I'm done here. So for if you're done, you do your last pull through, you cut your yarn, and you take that loop and you just pull it right out. I know this some might feel kind of wrong, but it's right. You're doing the right thing. So just pull it out. And then I'll just show you what to do with your tail. So pull that center um Pull that center tail as tight as you would like it. Thread it onto a tapestry needle. And what we're going to do here is just thread it underneath the uh, double crochets that you, of the same color that you, that you began with. And if you can kind of split the yarn as you pull it through. That doesn't hurt. That actually holds it nice and steady. So I'm going to pull it through here. And then I'm going to thread it through the next these are the loops that went right through the initial circle. Pull it through there. And then keep rotating your square in your hand and pull it through again. And again, and you know, you could do this a second time. But I think if you've gone through once, I'm gonna go once and another quarter. That's that's good. It's not going to come undone. Give it a little tug and then take your scissors and trim it fairly close. Why fairly close? Well, you don't want to snip any of the threads of your yarn. You can just ease it back in afterwards so it can't be seen. And with this one, we're going to do almost the same thing. So thread your tapestry needle. Here's the last half double crochet. My yarn is coming out to the right. And you see over to the left here, there's a little stitch. I'll put my I'll put my tapestry needle under it. Just to the left of where my yarn is coming out, there's the beginning of a um, there's the beginning of my next stitch. That's the the top of the second half uh, second double crochet when I was first going around. So I'm going to draw the yarn through that stitch, and then I'm going to go back and put it right in where it's coming out. So my yarn is coming out here. I've taken my needle and drawn it through the two legs of the stitch just to the left of that one. And now I'm going to put it right back into the same spot, creating a little loop like this. And I'm just gonna tighten it up to the point where it looks like, well, you can't even see it. Isn't that amazing? And then I will weave it in by putting my tapestry needle through the back here. There we go, pull it through, and then you guessed it, right? I'm just going to go back through the legs, the bottom legs of my double crochets along here with the same color. I'll go around the corner here. I like to hear, I like to hear it when it's kind of squeaky because that means that it's holding the yarn. In place, a little adjustment, and then I'm going to trim it. But remember, like you can trim it close, or you can trim it with a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of uh, stuff sticking out, and you can ease it back underneath there. 
And that's your granny square. So if you want to continue working rounds in your granny square, um, I always start in the corner. So I start with chain two and then two double crochets to build that first corner piece, then chain one. And on this next round, I'd start with half of my corner here, chain one, work three double crochets in the spaces between the corners. So here is a space between two previous uh, clusters. So I'd work three double crochets here, chain one, work three double crochets here. When you get to the corner, chain one, then work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So each of these spaces that are along the side, um, wherever you have a space between uh, two clusters that is not a corner, you'll work three double crochets in there and separate it with a chain one. But when you get to a corner, and it may be, there's my beginning corner, I can only tell because it's a little tighter than this corner here. So when you get to any corner, you're going to work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And that chain two is just there to give it a little more space to make the corner a little wider. All right, I'm going to do this again, uh, but faster. So if you want to crochet along with me and you kind of got your mojo now, I'll just talk out loud as I'm doing it and uh, we'll, we'll do one more uh, a little faster. So I'm going to begin with my magic circle. And so kind of like a slip knot. And I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to work two double crochets into my circle. In the first round, everything's a corner. So I'm going to chain two and work three more double crochets. Chain two, three more double crochets. Chain two, last set of three double crochets. So chain two, double crochet twice, chain two, double crochet three times, chain two, double crochet three times, chain two, double crochet three times. And now I'm going to join my round together by working a half double crochet into the top of the first chain two that I made. I'm going to pull that yarn through, then I'm going to put my crochet hook down and change colors. I'm going to draw my second color through the last three loops of my half double crochet. Adjust my tail so it's not so long. And I'm going to chain two to kind of lock everything in place. And then I'm going to work two double crochets right next to the chain two, but towards the left of the chain two. Holding my tails up so that I can tuck them in as I go along. And now I'm not working a corner, so I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to work three half, uh, three double crochets in the next corner space. My magic circle is a little bit loose, so I'm just gonna stop right now and adjust it so that things look less messy. So I'm just pulling on my tail. Sometimes you have to just give it a few tugs just to get it going and then it's good. So I've worked chain two, two double crochets in the first corner, chain one, three double crochets in the second corner. So now I need to do a chain two because this is a corner and work three more double crochets in that same corner space. I'm going to chain one and work my first set of three double crochets in the next corner space.
And then I will chain two because this is a corner and work another set of three double crochets in that same corner space. And then I'm going to chain one because that's not a corner. And now I'm working into the last corner space, or I guess the second last corner space. So I'm going to start with three double crochets. Chain two. I'm just going to stop here for a second and trim my yarn. Work three more double crochets in that second last corner. And now I'm going to work a chain one because this is the space between the corners. And I'll work my last set of three double crochets in the last corner, my join being right at the corner. And then to join my corner up, I'm going to use a half double crochet. So I'm going to put my uh, yarn over, put my hook through the top of the chain two, the second chain of my chain two that I began with, draw the yarn through, and then I'm gonna put this down for a minute and get a new piece of yarn. And on my last pull through of the half double crochet, I'll use my new color. You can, of course, use the same color all the way through. That looks brilliant as well. I so begin with a chain two, and then I'm going to work two double crochets to finish, to start this first corner. So I'm doing half of the first corner. And then I will chain one. I'm going to work three double crochets in the middle section. So whenever it's not a corner, you just work three double crochets. Then chain one. And now I'm working a corner, so I'll do double crochet three times, then chain two, double crochet three times. That's my first three double crochets. I'll chain two for the corner and then work three more double crochets. Now I'm about to work a middle space again. So I'm going to chain one and work three double crochets into that middle space. Chain one, and I'm working corner, so I'll work three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. I'm just going to take a second here to trim my yarn. So I've done in this corner, I've done three double crochets. I'm going to chain two for the corner and then work three more double crochets. Then chain one and work the middle space. So again, it's always a chain one between the three double crochet clusters, except when you're in the middle of a corner and then it's chain two. So I did my three double crochets in the middle, chain one, and now I'm doing a corner. So that's double crochet three times, chain two, double crochet three times. Chain one, three double crochets in the center space. And 
and I'm approaching the corner that I began in. So I'm going to chain one and I'll work my last three double crochets in that same corner that I began in. And then I'm going to use a half double crochet to join them together. So yarn over, get under both bars of that, the top of the chain two space, the top of the chain two that you began with, it's not a space. Here we go, yarn over, and I'm going to change the colors again. Because why not? So last pull through. Chain two. I'm now doing round four. So this was round one, round two, round three. I'm beginning round four. And here's where, again, you might just need to pull that corner apart and remind yourself that you're working the first half of the corner. So there's the middle of the corner. I'm going to put two double crochets just to the left of that chain two. And then I'm going to chain one. And now I've got two middle spaces or two um, spaces in which I'll just do three double crochets. So chain one. Put three double crochets in here. So in these spaces between the corners, you'll just put three double crochets, chain one. Then in this is again not a corner, so I'll put three double crochets in it. Chain one, and now I'm doing a corner. So I will do double crochet three times. Chain two, double crochet three times. All in the same corner space. I'm going to stop here and trim my yarn. When I'm done the corner, I'll chain one and I'll work three double crochets in the spaces that are not corners. So I'm always putting my hook down into right inside the space on the row below and working three double crochets always with a chain one in between because you're probably getting tired of hearing me saying this, but because they are not corners, chain one. When I get to the corner, it's three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets. Chain one, and I get to a corner, three double crochets. Chain two. Three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets. Chain one. And I'm going to work my last three double crochets in to complete this corner. So back into the same space that I started in, that corner space at the beginning, one double crochet, two double crochets, 
three double crochets and then join at the corner with a half double crochet. Yarn around the needle, find the top of the chain two that you began with. Draw through so that you have three loops on your hook. And if you're carrying on with the same color, you're just going to draw through with exactly the same color. And if you're changing colors, you will draw through the last, the last motion that you work with your crochet hook, you'll do with your new color. And then begin with a chain two. And that kind of locks things into place. Chain two. Open up that space underneath it and work two double crochets to begin your corner right to the left of your chain two and chain one and have a look at what you're going to do next. So here I am, I'm, I'm starting at this corner. Do you see these spaces along the edge? I'm going to do three double crochets here, three double crochets here, three double crochets here, all separated with a chain one. And then when I get to the corner, it's uh, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. You can work your way around. You can make this granny square as big as, as you like. So keep going until you run out of yarn. <laughs> 